Another caller. Controversial. Yeah. yeah. A hold guy on. that uh, I'm a big I'm a big fan of. Yeah. I don't think he's doing a shoot. I don't think he's doing a work. Yeah. Ryan. Yo, Garrett. What's going on? Hello, Ryan. Garrett. Hi. I'm so glad I could talk to you tonight. I wanted to bring up a subject. I want to talk to you about something that you brought up. A very important subject I'd like to debate with you right now. Let's uh let's debate an important subject. Hold on a sec. There's a there's a what how do I close the locks here? Ooh. This this I am so happy with this game. I miss this old school action adventure type gameplay. I haven't had this in a while. What's up? What do you want to discuss, Ryan? Okay, now I am a man who has seen multiple Underworld movies. Yes. I don't know a lot of people who are, but let's get right down to it. You know, I watched... Vampires vs. Werewolves. I watched the first Underworld. I'm not I'm not joking. I brought it up on last week's stream. I watched that movie on Saturday night. The very first Underworld you're talking, right, Ryan? So, yeah. You know what? The first Underworld is good. They kind of fucking just... Yeah. The second one's they, okay, and oh yeah, yeah, that, yeah. They, just get bad. they they take a fucking dive. But the first Underworld is is a decent uh, sci-fi action movie. It's great too because they they first were learning how to mix CG with practical effects. I think it looks good. I also think that it tries to be the Matrix so hard at certain times. <laughs> but but uh, yeah, let's get into the debate. Uh, I wanted I want to keep well, it on topic, so I'm glad you called in, good sir. What, what what's your question? Like, well, no, uh, like I'm pretty sure I know where you fall on this side of the line, and I I've always thought werewolves are cooler than vampires. Yeah. Oh really? Oh I wait, werewolves are cooler. Well, okay. They're werewolves are pretty cool, man. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna I'm not gonna lie, but to be <laughs> dead to be truly eternally living uh i i would i would i would much rather be a a, a vampire than a, a werewolf i think a werewolf would be a burden to you not if okay well okay let's let's assume we're under underworld rules where okay. you can control turning into a vampire or a, a werewolf at any time so it's not wolfman rules where, you know, it's a curse. It's more the superpower of any time you can wolf out. Sort of like Teen Wolf, but cooler. Okay. Teen Wolf was and great that, because Michael J. Fox was uh, one hell of a basketball player when he would go wolf. Yeah, and all the girls liked him and they wanted to go to the dance. Yeah. And he had a friend who had a shirt that said, what are you looking at, dick yeah. nose? And that was the coolest guy in that whole movie. He was. He had a bitchin' van and uh, he, let, he would let his friend Michael uh, surf on it as the Teen Wolf. It was great. Well, his name in the movie was Scott Howard, not Michael. So let's just get straight. <laughs> Do you remember when his dad had to transform and no one saw that coming? That was, that's another great. And he's got the glasses. Yeah, on. he's got the glasses and the hairy back of his hands. I love the way the back of their hands, because the makeup of that movie made him more like a terrier than a werewolf. <laughs> but uh, it should have been called Teen Terrier. Teen Terrier uh, okay. Go. They could have rebooted the whole uh, animated thing. Listen. But let's get back on subject. Let's get back. Vampires this is where excuse my argument. Yes. A vampire is a leech. It is a parasite. A, yes. You know, what do they do? They live off other people's. A werewolf is true power. A werewolf is being able to access the beast within and beast. pull it out and use it to claim what's yours, superiority. And I oh, think that's shit. cooler than then, then what is it? It's a, it's basically just a, it's a, it's a leech, but it's bigger. Oh, I fucked up. I fucked up, Ryan. It's uh, uh I didn't mean to fall down there. I'm gonna return to checkpoint. Please return to checkpoint. Yeah, I get it, man. I get, I get your, I get your thought process there. You know, um, the, the, the beast within you get to let it out, and uh, I, I think you can say the same thing though for vampires. The key thing, I think that for me, what trounces all is uh, immortality. There's no expiration. You could take yourself out the game as a vampire. 
uh, if yeah, we're looking if, at like True Blood rules or uh, yeah, you know yeah, yeah. even standard vampire, I mean you could let someone stake you, or you could uh, you know expose yourself to daylight. But if we were going off underground, underground, I'm sorry, underworld, underworld rules. If you live too long, you turn to like Bill Nye, where you're like a gross vampire that's not supposed to wake up, and it gets like you turn like all sickly and you can't really do anything. Yeah, but that like, that that you can do something. I I think you Bill Nye was extremely powerful i think the uh i think the goal when you reach such an age is you know you want to have some time off so in underworld they set up a system where the three eldest vampires that all ran the coven uh un you know they, they all kind of got together and ran it as one entity and they just took turns the two would sleep for like 10 years while the one ruled and then they'd swap out. So you'd get a 20 year break, you know, to take it easy. And then you'd have to work for 10 years, actually being awake and ruling. And, and they were super powerful. They fucking Bill Nye grew wings and had all kinds of crazy powers at the end. It was awesome. That is true. Now, but now like, if we're going it, underworld it, rules, you could, what? you could do the cute, handsome hunk of the movie and have best of both worlds. Have that, that vampire power of the, uh, immortality and undead. And then the ability to, to unleash that brute, strength like the uh, well yeah but that's i mean that's cheating at that point you're like well, well then i you know then he you did can it. take that in other movies and just be like well i want to be a gargoyle and a demon and frankenstein and you could just be well, all three parts of that movie now if we're getting into frankenstein rules yeah that's a problem see there's a see that power up up there that's like a fucking cosmic cube from marvel or some shit no because i'm 40 seconds behind i want to get that but i don't know if this guy will see me let me see whoops Okay, crawling up. Oh, maybe... I don't know if this will work. No, it won't. Oh, shit. I'll have to get that later. I'll save it yeah, for later. And what you have to do now is find another caller, because I'm going to say have a good night. Thank and you, Ryan. have fun with this game. Thank you, Ryan. So in 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 closing, though, you're, you're, you're not going to see it my way. You wouldn't want to live forever. What's the disadvantage there? Uh, I mean, the di I, I kind of think the disadvantage is living like you get it's that philosophical point of like once you've lived forever, what's the point? Like, but life but, is fleeting, and what what will what will we see on the other side? But when you're you ready, mystery. when you're ready, you can go to see that other side. Yeah, but like I never take myself out the game because buckwheat groats. I listen to that song, and you yeah, gotta, it's, like it's real sad. And I, I mean, well, they had a point. My wife. My wife ain't fucking other dudes, so why would I take myself out the game? That's true. There That's you go. That's true. You're married, Ryan? No. Look at you. You've grown I'm, up I'm so talking fast. About in the, I'm talking about like in the future oh. when I'm a werewolf. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Okay. I feel like I've Holy missed vampire. those power-ups. I'll have to come back on a second playthrough. That's going to bother the shit out of me. Well, thank you very much for calling, Ryan. No problem. I will talk to you later. All right, later. That's, that's our dear buddy, Ryan. 